Today, we are diving deep into one of the most fundamental runes in Swelt 5, the Dollar State Rune. Let's explore how it works and why it's so powerful. The Dollar State Rune is at the heart of Swelt 5's reactivity system. It's how we declare reactive variables that automatically update your UI when they change. Let's start with a basic example. Here's how you declare a reactive variable using dollar state. Every time count changes, Swelt automatically updates the DAM. No need for set state or anything similar. Now, let's compare how we handle reactivity in Swelt 4 and Swelt 5. In Swelt 4, top level let declarations were implicitly reactive. This was convenient but could sometimes lead to unexpected behavior. Swelt 5 introduces dollar state, which makes reactivity explicit. This approach makes our code more predictable and easier to reason about. In Swelt 4, when updating arrays or objects, we often had to reassign the entire structure to trigger reactivity. With Swelt 5's dollar state, no reassignment is needed when updating arrays or objects. We'll see an example of this in the next slide. This new approach in Swelt 5 is more predictable and easier to reason about. Finally, dollar state allows for fine-grained control over reactivity, which we'll explore in more detail later. These changes in Swelt 5 give us more control and clarity when working with reactive state, addressing some of the limitations we encountered in Swelt 4. In Swelt 4, when you pushed an item to an array or updated an object property, you often had to reassign the entire array or object to trigger reactivity. With Swelt 5's dollar state, this reassignment is no longer necessary. This makes our code cleaner and more intuitive. As we've seen, dollar state isn't limited to primitive values. You can use it with objects and arrays too. When you update these, Swelt knows to re-render only the parts of your UI that depend on the changed values. Here's something really cool about dollar state, you can use it outside of components. This opens up new possibilities for managing state. This allows us to create reusable, encapsulated state that can be shared between components. Now, let's look at two special variants of dollar state. $state.raw and $state.snapshot. $state.raw is useful when you want to declare state that can only be reassigned, not mutated. It's particularly helpful for large arrays or objects that you don't plan to change internally. $state.snapshot creates a non-reactive copy of your state, which can be incredibly helpful for debugging or when you need to pass your state to external APIs that don't expect reactive objects. One of the key advantages of dollar state in Swelt 5 is its fine-grained reactivity. Unlike Swelt 4, where updating an item in an array could trigger unnecessary re-renders, dollar state is more efficient. In this example, only the specific item and components that depend on it will update, not the entire list. This can significantly improve performance in large applications. As with any powerful tool, there are some common pitfalls to watch out for when using dollar state. Forgetting to use dollar state for top level reactivity, unlike Swelt 4, simply declaring a variable with let doesn't make it reactive. Mutating dollar state dot raw values, remember, dollar state dot raw is for immutable data. Always reassign, don't mutate. Destructuring dollar state objects. If you destructure a dollar state object, the individual properties lose their reactivity. Instead, access properties directly or use dollar derived. Expecting reactivity across function boundaries, dollar state doesn't magically make everything reactive. Be mindful of how you pass and use state in different scopes. Let's look at some best practices when using dollar state. Use dollar state for values that change over time. Prefer primitive values where possible for better performance. When using objects or arrays, update them immutably. 
use dollar state at the top level of your component or function. To wrap up, here are the key takeaways about dollar state. It explicitly declares reactive state. It works with primitive values, objects, and arrays. It can be used outside of components. It makes your code more predictable and easier to understand. It eliminates the need for reassignment when updating arrays or objects. It enables fine-grained reactivity for better performance. That's it for our deep dive into the dollar state rune. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.